Good evening, one and all. This is Michael from Bro JMR, and this is Friday night, so it's time for another unboxing. This week we are going to be unboxing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Ultimate Edition. This was released on October 19th, 2010, and it was one of... They did an entire Ultimate Edition of every single one of them. Uh, they did one on DVD and one on Blu-ray all the way up until, I believe, uh, the seventh movie, part two. I think they only did that one on Blu-ray, and I'm thinking maybe 7.1 as well. But the other six are both on DVD and Blu-ray, and this is the DVD version. So let's check it out. And here we go, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Ultimate Edition DVD. No, that's not my camera. That is uh, not coming in blurry. That is a uh, one of those holographic um, little card, 3D card things. So, just so you know, camera's not messed up. Take a look at that first. See if we can figure out how to get this sucker out of here without damaging the box. Here we go. That's what the case looks like. And here's the little 3D card. Believe me, it looks much cooler uh, in person than it does on camera. All right. So here's the, the box that it comes in. I forgot to show you the back. There you go. Shows all the stuff that's inside of it. Some pretty cool stuff. Opens up like a book. And inside, got the movie itself and that even that opens up and it's got uh, shows all the special features on the discs themselves uh, right here is creating the world of Harry Potter part 3 the creatures this was a seven part uh, documentary that was spread out over all seven or eight of these or sorry an eight part documentary spread out over all eight of these very detailed I mean it's all the same stuff that's on the the, the blu-rays but it's still it's it was a nice thing at the time uh, creating the creatures of Harry Potter nice little book that's got some illustrations and shows um, how each creature was made specifically the uh, Dementors in this one uh, we got the the monster book of monsters. Oh, my fault. There we go. The monster book of monsters. The hippogriffs. The owls, specifically Hedwig. Fox, the phoenix. The thestrals. Some more of the thestrals. We got the um, the centaurs and Guap, which is Hagrid's, of course, half brother. The Immaculenta, uh, Argarg, uh, Hagrid's spider. How they made uh, Fluffy, the three-headed dog, from part one. Uh, the werewolves. And the goblins, Dobby, and um, a creature, more of the trolls, the pixies, uh, underwater creatures including the mer people and the Grindaloos. A little bit more about the Mer Peoples. A little bit more about the Grindaloos. The dragons. Some more dragons. Some more dragons. The basilisk. Uh, let's see. Oh, the underwater creatures uh, in the cave from here and from part six. And some more about the Dementors. 
and a sketch of Buckbeak. So overall, pretty cool little stuff. Uh, show some nice, interesting uh, drawings and uh, conceptual arts about the different ways, uh, the different uh, phases that they went through. All right, let's see what's in this guy right here. And here we have uh, the digital code uh, introducing the Harry Potter pop-up book. I uh, got the next two cards. This was another series of cards that uh, was spread out among all of the different Ultimate Editions. So I think there's probably 16 of them in total. This one we have uh, Sirius Black and Hermione Granger. And on the back it shows it's number five and number six. So overall, uh, a pretty good little set. Um, I'm slowly working my way into getting all of these and I'm hoping very soon to have the only one that I'm missing, which I think is five and the two from seven. So pretty neat little set. If you can find them on the cheap, uh, go ahead and pick them up. I think I paid about $20 a piece for them used. Um, obviously new when they came out they were a lot more expensive but if you can find them used not bad not a bad little set to pick up very nice especially if you're a big Harry Potter fan like we are so put that all back in there I forgot to mention the uh, pictures on here we got uh, Sirius Black with his mugshot and some different shots from the school and that's it. So definitely, if you're a Harry Potter fan, try to find these. They are totally worth it. Well, that's it for another edition of Unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Ultimate Edition DVD. Next week, we will be unboxing my little cards fanned out here. Family Guy, Blue Harvest, the special edition DVD collector set. So until then, thank you for watching. Blessed be.